Music has had some pretty bad artists, especially in the pop area. But there's one that just blows the rest of them out. It's none other than One Direction. I mean, I don't even understand how they were even able to be known. Since there's 3 million other groups that sound exactly the same. For instance, who remembers these guys? Or them? But the difference with the Jonas Brothers is that they actually played real instruments. Maybe they didn't do it well, but, you know, that automatically sets them above the rest. Because they actually played kind of real music. But, but some people were like, oh, but One Direction has real instruments. Oh, really? Really? Like this guy? Yeah, look at that. Doesn't even need an amp. And they're, I love, they're trying to make it like they actually do play real instruments. Like they have some musical talent. I saw some people saying that there's such things as wireless amps. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, genius. So the guitar itself is connected to the amp. No, it still needs an adapter in the jig. Get that crap out of here. I, I saw some footage of them live. I saw them. I'm not talking about the backing band because they're not part of the band. I'm talking about the actual people in the band. This group has five members and they all sing. What's the point of that? What the hell is the point of that? They literally have the song on playback and they just rotate while taking turns singing like three lines each. What the hell is the point of five of them then? Like, I can't even comprehend that. Because, oh, because they're all so cute. Oh my god, let's just get some guys that haven't even gone through puberty yet, even though they're like 20, and auto-tune them. That ought to sell, guys, yeah. I don't know if they're auto-tuned or not, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, honestly. Alright, well, that that's enough of the whole idea of the band being bad. Like, we know, you know, they're just terrible. So let's get down to the songs, you know. You, do you know what it's called? When in a school you copy and paste someone's work and put in your essay and just say it's yours without giving them any credit. You're right, it's called plagiarism. You know when that happens in college, you know what happens? You get a zero or possibly kicked out of your class or the school or whatever. What happens when you do that in music? Well, why don't we just ask One Direction? Because they've done it three times already. Let's take a look at some of these. Or all three, actually. First, we have the most recent one, Midnight Memories, that ripped off Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar on Me. Now, I'm going to play the original first, then I'll play the bad one, and then we'll compare them. First, we have Pour Some Sugar on Me. Alright, you got that in your head? Now let's take a look at Midnight Memories. What the hell was that? The entire chorus was pretty much the exact same. The same vo vocal melody, the same chords. Plus, I just realized that that build-up and the solo drums is kind of like Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. You know, I'd play that, but I think Gene Simmons will sue me, even though I'm not making any money off this. Because, because when I use someone's song, for an example, my video gets taken down. But when these jacks do it, it's fine. Anyway, many people said it wasn't that, that bad of a similarity. Like, alright, that's fine. Now how about we go to live while you're young. Today's victim is the clashes. Should I stay or should I go? What the hell was that? 
they're the exact same chords. And if that's not enough, it even has those three dead notes. Are you going to tell me that's a coincidence? Hell no, you're not. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, at least it's a different tempo and it's not as long. Alright, fine. If that, that's what you want to think. Now for the last one. I bet many of you know what's coming. It's the video and song that nearly got taken off of YouTube. Because there is no excuse for this one. The Who's Bob O'Reilly. <laughs> You got that in your head? Now I give you best song ever. I love that title by the way, it's by far not the best song ever. What the hell? What the goddamn hell was that? Are you serious? Literally, the entire goddamn beginning of that song. Same piano chords, same drum beat, same whatever the crap that intro is. What's, what's your excuse for that one? What, what the hell is your excuse for that? This song almost got taken down. Almost. And you know what their brainless, ignorant, Idiot fan base did. Look at this. Oh my god, you goddamn stupid piece of crap. This is the worst part about these groups. They're goddamn fan base. Goddamn idiots. Now, of course, not all of them are, but the vast majority, yeah. You're called the Who for a reason? Yeah, they're called the Who for a reason. One of the greatest goddamn rock bands of all time. What the crap does one pew have to live up to them, hmm? They're not, they don't mean shit. They're just, they're ten years from now, no one's gonna give a damn about them because they're the exact same piece of crap artist that's out there today. Just shit out some singles, throw it on the radio, and everyone's like, oh my god, this is the best band ever. No, they're not. They're shit. They're little shit. They're gonna die off soon, just like these other boy bands. Good day.